Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. So far this autumn, the weather has been pretty changeable, but one common theme has been the mild temperatures, particularly in the south. And the next 10 days, well, we'll start with further mild temperatures. But a big change is on the way, particularly in how the weather feels when you step outside. It is going to turn increasingly cold. Now, not proper cold. We'll just see the temperatures returning to around average for the time of year. It will just feel pretty different compared to the very mild air that we've had recently. And there'll be plenty of dry weather as well, including some sunny days. A beautiful sunny day for Wednesday, but through Wednesday night, we're going to see a warm front travel north across England and Wales, bringing areas of cloud by the time we start Thursday. And that means that Thursday across Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia, a lot of dull weather, some light rain, some mist and murk. To the south of that, it is a warm front, so we're going to see warm temperatures, 19, perhaps even 20 degrees, where the sun breaks through the cloud. There'll also be some sunshine further north, but cooler temperatures in the north of Scotland, 13 degrees or so, with a brisk wind. Now, the wind changes direction through Friday and it helps to push the cold front back southwards. And the result of that is that sunshine develops pretty widely across the country yet again. And temperatures a little cooler, but not much different compared to the average for the time of year. Further weather fronts arrive Friday night and into the start of Saturday. They are some way from an area of low pressure, and that means they'll generally be weak weather fronts, just introducing areas of cloud across the country and a few showers, particularly in the north and the east. Temperatures again around average, but that's all set to change Saturday night. You can see the blue colours on the map here in the far north of Scotland. Now, they will progressively make their way south to cover the whole of the country and by Sunday. The blue hues here indicating a real change in how the weather feels the second half of the weekend. We're going to have a brisk breeze from the north and on the east coast there, it's going to feel particularly blustery uh, with temperatures in many areas below average for the time of year. Not something we've seen that much of this autumn. But high pressure to the west of the UK means that for most of us, Sunday's looking very nice. A lot of sunny skies, and after a cloudy start to the weekend, sunny Sunday will be quite pleasant indeed. High pressure sticking around early part of next week, and that means Monday starts off frosty and foggy for some. But we're going to increasingly see the winds back to westerly or northwesterly through the early part of next week, bringing in weather systems close to the north of the country. As those weather systems move in over Scotland, there's a chance of some hill snow over the Scottish mountains, for example. But further south, high pressure close by means a lot of fine weather. And high pressure generally lurking around the Atlantic, blocking most of the stormy weather that we've seen a lot of so far this autumn and directing the jet stream to the north of the UK. Now, the jet stream is a strong current of air high in the sky. It tends to pick up low pressure systems and move them around the globe. And the early part of next week, that means that these low pressure systems will just travel across the Atlantic and move to the north of the British Isles. And all the indications are that as we end next week, we'll see more of the same. Low pressure systems generally passing to the north of the country, initially giving, say, westerly winds before clearing away to northwesterly or even colder northerly winds and then further low pressure systems, westerly winds followed by northwesterly or northerly winds. That means there will be some showery rain at times, particularly in the north, close to those areas of low pressure, but there'll also be a lot of dry weather, particularly in the south. And overall temperatures will even out around average, but occasionally there will be a little colder with a frosty mornings and snow over the Scottish mountains. None of this is unusual for the time of year. If anything, it's a return to more typical weather for the autumn. And for some people, I suspect that will be very good news.